And in an update at part three, this will definitely be a four part series, this was the original location of the mother hive. And as you can see here, there's still heaps of swarming going on. You won't be able to see it against the light, but it, you can certainly see it there, just dots everywhere. But you see it better just like that. Heaps of swarming. This is the main focus of the attack. And it's definitely an attacking swarm. The good news about this is there's heaps of bees running into the hive. Heaps. And that could indicate that this hive will take. There's just heaps of bees. The, what will keep this swarm here too, by the way, is this hive. Do do. I've moved it twice and you can now see that it's it's getting back to being a normal hive. So that tells you immediately it was the subject of a takeover. Definitely was. Must have been a powerful hive somewhere to do that. But it's now calmed down. But any bees that are still scavengers in here that are going out to scavenge will return to that hive. That will keep that swarm located there because any returning bees will go back there keeping the swarm there. That said, remembering there was a lot of bees around here, they set this up as an attack. This is the hive to attack. Now, there's bees flying around, so I've got to keep an eye on this. I might even have to move it again for the simple fact that if the bees get the set that this is where it is, I've got to move it yet again. The other interesting thing, remember the second hive attack area? Well, that was probably more opportunistic. It's now died down to a dull roar, hardly any bees. That was part of the attack, but I think they drifted across it. This is talking about how densely you can pack your bees in a backyard before it affects other hives. And I think this hive was like a secondary attack that was here. Oh, where's that hive? It's just around the corner now, sitting in the shade here. And again, you can see the same thing. Seems to be over the majority of, oops, seems to be over the majority of the attack. There's still bees being dragged out and whatever. So it looks like they've survived those attacks. The real funny thing is I've got hives elsewhere, no sign of any bees around them, but having them just a little too close together can cause problems. So, in terms of management, we're going to watch hives like this one. Just make sure that they don't get the scent and come back to attack this hive. We're going to watch over here on this area that they've abandoned now where one hive was. And if necessary, I'll be able to put back that hive in the morning. And we will carefully watch this one, which is going like a bloody gangbusters. As you can see here, just going gangbusters it is. And we're going to see if that hive takes.